You were part of that. You're the one who knew about it. You witnessed it. You encouraged it. 2020 hasn't really been a good year for Ellen. The Ellen DeGeneres show has been in turmoil for almost an entire year now. Her image has absolutely gone through the ringer this year, and she has been accused of being downright mean, disrespectful, and allowing a workplace environment full of horrible, toxic behaviors to persist. And it did affect her show. So, let's take a look at the reasons why Ellen lost 1,900,000 viewers. 2020 Timeline for Ellen Toxic, phony, hypocrite, liar. That's what she is. With accusations of unkind behavior swirling around Ellen, it can be hard to keep track of all the controversy. But let's break down all the backlash that she has received this year. First, employees were reportedly outraged by Ellen and the producer's lack of transparency during the pandemic. In April, many employees on the show's core stage crew were furious at higher-ups handling of the COVID pandemic and workplace issues. They claimed that when normal production of the show shut down in March, they received no written communications about changes to pay, hours, or any inquiries about their health from producers for two weeks. And when they finally did get an update, they were told they could expect a 60% reduction in pay, even though the show was continued to air taped from Ellen's home. They discovered that Warner Media, which distributes the show, hired a non-union tech company employing only four of the 30 core crew members. After that, many employees described the show as a toxic workplace environment. A comedian, Kevin T. Porter, crowdsourced insane stories you have heard about Ellen being mean in exchange for $2 donations to the Los Angeles Regional Food Bank and he received thousands of responses. There were many kinds of stories like how Ellen behaved while filming, including accusations that she would not let crew members eat meat, how she fired an autistic custodian for greeting her, and how she made anyone entering her office chew gum from a bowl outside her door since she had a sensitive nose. There was also this story. A new staff member was told that every day she picked someone different to really hate. It's not your fault. You just suck it up for the day and she'll be mean to someone else the next day. They didn't believe it, but it ended up being entirely true. One employee was reprimanded just for posting a GoFundMe to cover medical costs not covered by the show because it might hurt Ellen's image. Another person said she complained about numerous offensive comments referencing her race and essentially walked off the job after she was reprimanded for being resentful and angry. In a joint statement, producers responded that they are truly heartbroken and sorry to learn that even one person in our production family has had a negative experience. It's not who we are and not who we strive to be and not the mission Ellen has set for us. For the record, the day-to-day -day responsibility of The Ellen Show is completely on us. We take all of this very seriously and we realize, as many in the world are learning, that we need to do better, are committed to doing better, and we will do better. Later, more than 30 employees painted a picture of The Ellen DeGeneres Show as a place where sexual harassment and misconduct by top execs run rampant. Ellen also disrespected her audience. There was a time when she remarked that an audience member was not rich while going through her bag. She sifted through an audience member's bag, counting through her bills, and she asked her, So this is all you have right now in cash? Alright, well that's not rich. She did surprise the woman by gifting her $1,000 in the moments that followed, but said, No, that's all. There, you are rich now. That doesn't really look fascinating, Ellen. She has even labeled her audience members as idiots. Administering the idiot test to her audience, DeGeneres asked various people to solve riddles, and if they gave her the right answer, they could sit down. And if they didn't, DeGeneres told them they were an idiot and ordered them to relocate to the idiot section. Celebrities against Ellen. We did it. Uh, yeah, we were yeah. good. I think we got closer, <laughs> right? Don't you, you and I? Yeah, I think no. The list of high profile celebrities who have taken to social media to say they have only had respectful experiences with DeGeneres does continue to grow. But some celebrities, however, are speaking up to confirm those negative experiences with the host. Nikki DeJager from Nikki Tutorials had some unpleasant things to say and she described Ellen as cold and distant and was shocked the host never greeted her before taping. She wasn't even being offered a private toilet because the one available was reserved for the Jonas Brothers. She wasn't described as a great host by Drew Barrymore, Justin Timberlake, Taylor Swift, and Dakota Johnson as well. Quarantine Backlash I've been away for a little bit, dealing with, uh, you know, some stuff. You may have read about it.
Ellen's daily television show had been off the air for three weeks because of a stay-at-home order, but she returned to the show filmed by her wife, Portia de Rossi, from one of their California homes. One thing that I've learned from being in quarantine is that people, this is like being in jail, is what it is, Ellen said. It's mostly because I've been wearing the same clothes for 10 days and everyone here is gay. Did she really mention jail? The joke garnered plenty of backlash as people pointed out the dangerous conditions and surging cases of coronavirus within jail across the country. And she was being filmed in an armchair looking out at a vast grassy lawn and mountains. Are you kidding, Ellen? And the joke didn't go down very well. Private life. So, you're, you're not jet lagged anymore. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. What day is it? Ellen's rude behavior doesn't only concern her career and her TV show. In March, rumors were spread that Portia was not living with her wife. And according to some sources, Portia de Rossi left her shared home with Ellen in LA and moved to Montecito, California. As it's known, Portia was really upset that Ellen wanted to continue her show from home, and when she found out that filming would continue from their living room, she was less than happy about it. Losing viewers. As soon as they turned the cameras off, she would not even acknowledge the audience. She would just sit on the couch, basically. In September, the Daily Talk Show returned after months of allegations of sexual misconduct, racism, and bullying taking place in the workplace. Ellen addressed the allegations in her opening monologue where she admitted that she learned that things happened that never should have happened. But is the fall season successful? Well, the show's audience has actually dropped by 37% following accusations behind the scenes. However, while DeGeneres' decrease was larger than most, the majority of syndicated talk shows experienced significantly lower viewing figures than this time last year. As you may have heard, this summer there were allegations of a toxic work environment at our show, and then there was an investigation. I learned that things happened here that never should have happened. I take that very seriously, and I want to say I am so sorry to the people who were affected. PR expert Eric Schiffer believes the drop is very much down due to how Ellen chose to react to the headline-making accusations and what that did to her audience. If you don't remember, all of these allegations and rumors finally led to The Ellen Show being investigated by the Warner Brothers television company. So after several weeks of critics and backlash, Ellen finally chose to apologize publicly to her staff members and former employees. The 62-year-old talk show host wrote a letter to her Warner Brothers studio workers. The letter starts with Ellen saying, On day one of our show, I told everyone in our first meeting that The Ellen DeGeneres Show would be a place of happiness. No one would ever raise their voice, and everyone would be treated with respect. Obviously something changed, and I am disappointed to learn that this has not been the case. I could not have had the success I've had without all of your contributions. My name is on the show, and everything we do and I take responsibility for that. Alongside Warner Brothers, we immediately began an internal investigation, and we are taking steps together to correct those issues. As we've grown exponentially, I've not been able to stay on top of everything and relied on others to do their jobs as they knew I'd want them done. Clearly, some didn't. That will now change and I'm committed to ensuring this does not happen again. Eric Schiffer stated that Ellen has damaged her emotional connection with fans who have tuned the talk show host out, refusing to be the sucker for something they feel is not authentic. Ellen's entitled early charade to deny, deflect, and defend her alleged allegations and failures have undoubtedly affected her ratings. We will witness an ever-dwindling audience because of the colossal collapse of her crafted image concocted to be cherished, calm, and comfort her TV fans, only to have it unmasked as a sham, he says. Most people don't believe Ellen's apology shared on the season opener sandwiched between a joke about her underwear. It was Ellen's lack of authentic atonement that ended her best chance at influencing people most open to forgiving her. Further apologies will not work here because that well is drought dry. The damage to her TV career will be hard to undo. What do you think about Ellen? Do you still watch her? Are you in those 1,900,000 X viewers? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video and thank you for watching.